Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emma, also recovered Emma Riggs, and today I am basically going to be doing a day in the life of me, so pretty much a vlog of what I do in a day, lockdown slash mental health recovery, I guess you could say. Um, so as you know, I used to do videos about what I do, what I eat in days, um, what I do in a day, anorexia recovery and stuff. I did one really, really long time ago, my very first one. And obviously it's dramatically changed from then to now. So I decided to do another one, especially since, you know, um, I myself have been struggling mentally during lockdown and everything. And I just want to let you guys know what I do during the day. Um, maybe give you some ideas of what you can do in the day. And I'm always going to be doing some baking as well today, as well as some cooking. So I probably will do the recipes of the baking and for the cooking. That's a surprise and I'll tell you later on about that. But yes, let's go ahead and get started in the day. So I recorded this morning, so I'm going to let you see all the clips now. And yeah, goodbye guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, good morning. So I have just woken up. It is about 10 a.m. at the moment. And the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I go ahead and respond to messages. So I usually have good morning messages from my friends. And then another thing I go ahead and do is I make my bed and I go brush my teeth. It's like the first free thing that I do in the morning. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to choose an outfit. So as you can tell, I've got my wardrobe here. You know, at the top, that is a complete mess. It's just jumpers all over. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is choose out one of the outfits. I am usually wear cozy clothes at the moment in lockdown. So I've talked about this a lot actually on my live streams. I've started wearing joggers and everything. But today I feel like I'm going to wear something a little bit more different because I feel like I've just been stuck wearing joggers 24-7. And I feel like I don't want to be doing that i feel like i want to wear something more dress related just to make myself feel a little bit better so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and wear that today that. so just before i go in the shower what i do is i do some bodies and some yoga um just about for 20 minutes or something just before I go in the shower it just relaxes me and fully wakes me up for the day even though I feel pretty fully waked up now anyways to record a video so guys I'm just about to go in the shower but I thought I'd show you what I actually use in the shower so first of all this is my little sponge thing that looks a bit like a rose and then I have my soap and glory shower gel body wash whatever you want to call it my auntie got me this big soap and glory set for christmas and honestly it was like my favorite thing ever and then over here i have some pentan uh, shampoo and conditioner which i use so i have pantene pentan however you say it so i have conditioner and shampoo so i use this one in its volume and body and then i also have repair and protect i've used repair and protect as my shampoo ever since um my anorexia actually because it really helps with my hair so i totally recommend you to try these two these three actually products because they're all really great So guys, I have just came out the shower. I'm now brushing my hair. I haven't got my clothes straight on because what I like to do is I like to do my makeup first and then put my clothes on, mainly because I obviously don't want makeup all over my clothes. And for some reason, the foundation that I use literally goes everywhere all the time. Like I literally try and get the tiniest little bit out and it just goes and splats everywhere. So I'm not gonna risk it and get it ruined. So I have my dressing gown on. And so I've got a few things planned today. I've got client calls planned, I've got bacon planned, I've got to do my nails, I've got to cook things as well. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a good day, quite eventful day. And yeah, I can't wait for you to join along with me.
So guys, that's my makeup finally done. Honestly, I feel like when I'm doing my makeup, I'm literally CEO of the trust the process because I'm like halfway through. I'm like, oh my God, this looks terrible. And then, you know, when it gets to the end, it doesn't look too bad. So yeah, <laughs> CEO of trust the process. Um, So I don't actually dry my hair. I like my hair to dry actually naturally just because I like to get it curly and everything. And also I feel like when I blow dry my hair, it literally just goes fluff and I look like Hagrid from Harry Potter. So I don't want that to happen. <laughs> at all so the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to get ready and then i'm going to go downstairs and make my breakfast because time's getting on now so guys ignore how dirty my mirror is i need to clean that as of the but this is my outfit for today um yeah can't remember the top from i think it's the bodysuits from primark and i think the skirts from new look so yeah let's get on with the day So guys, where I was this morning, I have my fruit shoot here. So I have blackcurrant and apple fruit shoots because <laughs> I'm like seven still. Um, I usually actually drink cranberry juice every morning, but I haven't got any cranberry juice left. So I'm drinking fruit shoots at the moment because my dad came in with some. And then I also have a banana and I also have some gluten-free honey hoops because it's currently my favorite cereal. I keep going through like phases of like favorite cereals. So like one moment I might be like, really into um they have like the gluten free wheat bix call it Nutribix and they are really really good I just I'm not really sure about if I crave them or not at the moment because I have them so much. I often go through these phases where I crave something and I eat so much that I just get sick of it. At the current situation of all my favourite foods. <laughs> So guys, breakfast is done. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's tuned in on my lives on my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, please do. So my Instagram is now recovered and my bakes. It's not recovery bakes. So I know that I've had a few messages being like, I've been trying to search recovery bakes on Instagram and they can't find me. And it's mainly because my name on Instagram now is recovered and my bakes. And on my Instagram, I now do lives pretty much nearly every single day. I also do um, posts and stuff for lots of like gluten-free things as well as just everything about what's going on so if you want to keep updated with me youtube probably isn't the best place to stay updated with me so please do go ahead and follow me on instagram um i am currently going through my dms as well at the moment um so i'm trying to get through all them <laughs> so yeah but everyone's been so lovely on my lives so thank you so much if you tuned in on my lives um it really means a lot um i'm trying to think of particular people who I've met on my lives and uh, Lucy, Lucy always tunes in on my lives um, Amelia always tunes in on my lives I don't know who else there's so many people who tune in um, but thank you so much for watching them, it means a lot so yeah, let's get on with the rest of the day So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna start doing my nails. Um, so I usually wear fake nails like pretty much all the time. I usually just take them off if either they fall off or you know, I have to ha not have them on for work or something. But if I do have them on for work, I usually do them quite small. I've already prepped my cuticles and everything like that. And now all I'm gonna do is gonna start sticking on my nails. Um, but yeah, I. The way I do my nails is I literally buy this huge pack of fake nails and they're off eBay and they're really cheap for like how many you get in them. It's like a hundred pieces for 
six pound or something and honestly they're really they're really secure and they stay on really well and then i just paint them so they're like see-through and then you know i usually have loads of nail varnish anyway so i'm able to just paint them whatever i want but yeah i 100 percent recommend them if you do like doing your nails i feel like doing my nails is almost like a, um um a common thing for me to do i feel because i feel like it's just something i really enjoy doing <laughs> You know, I know people have like different hobbies and stuff and like I've tried so many different hobbies. I've tried doing jigsaws and my patience just doesn't have them. Like my patience, I just, I'm honestly, to be honest though, I'm quite good at being patient. But when it comes to jigsaw puzzles, it just, it annoys me <laughs> so much. So I, I don't really do jigsaw puzzles. And my sister bought me this really lovely one one time with dogs and I was so excited to do it. And honestly, I just wanted to quit it in the first five minutes or so. <laughs> so I, that's, that's what I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse of me doing my nails because it's got to take some time. So you probably wasn't able to see that in that time lapse, but one of the nails messed up. It went like wonky and I seen it in the camera. Like I, I couldn't tell on my fingers and I seen it in the camera when I went like that. And it just like, obviously it has to be like, right, I can't have one wonky nail otherwise that just looks weird. And honestly, I tried to take it off and it was like stuck and it ripped and it really hurt. You probably see my expression there. Um, so I've did them now on my hands and I'm going to paint them soon. But first, before I paint them, I like to add oil to my cute holes. It just helps them stay healthy. I've also been seeing this trend on TikTok where people are putting oil on their boobs. So I totally didn't buy that because of that. <laughs> So actually, I had this oil before that, but then I did start using it because, you know, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get perky boobs. <laughs> so yeah, oil, here goes. Then I'm gonna paint them. So I've got my nail varnish here, and usually I do like one a different color, but because uh, I might I have work soon on Monday. I'm going to make sure that I don't do them so that I can just file them down. I usually do file them down a bit. I usually just take off the top a little bit because these are super sharp. And I mean, like, they will cut someone. They cut me. <laughs> so if I, like, catch anyone. And also I worry a bit for Max as well. I don't want to scratch Max. Especially because Max is quite jumpy at times. And, like, I don't want to risk cutting him. So I always usually just file the top down and then I paint them. Um, so obviously I've mentioned before that I've been having some struggles with my own mental health and I've been talking about, I've been quite openly talking about it because I talked about in a video before actually that one of the things I regretted um, during my recovery was not being more open about the struggles that I struggled with. So I feel like I really d tried to plaster upon this perfect ideals of recovery. And don't get me wrong, I was probably quite lucky in the fact that, you know, when I first properly started attempting real recovery, I just really went for it. And I, I, I am a kind of a person who keeps a positive mindset all the time, regardless of what's going on in their life. I just feel like I just try and be that kind of person to be like, oh, everything's fine, even when things aren't fine for me. And most recently, though, obviously, I've been going through my struggles myself. You know, me and Jamie broke up. Um... I've lost a few people as well, like friends and stuff. And, you know, just, it's just been a difficult kind of beginning of the year. And I've also gained loads of new friends as well. And don't get me wrong, I've been better now with my eating, but obviously my eating did go downhill when everything happened. But I am doing better now, I am. I'm generally getting back on track. And I think that obviously you'll probably be able to tell in this video, but you know, some people were just able to tell instantly. Some people messaged me on Instagram as well, just being like, are you okay? You know, you haven't really posted that much. And I really appreciate that, you know, when people do reach out to me and is like, are you struggling? Will you let me know? 
and stuff because it does it it makes you realize that people do care and it's one thing that has most recently hit me because I went through the stage where I was obviously feeling really lonely and everything and even though I had support of my family and I had support of some of my friends and stuff I felt lonely still and it's like I had so many DMs as well that I had to go through as well but I still felt lonely and it felt really wrong for me to say that but at the end of the day it was just how I was feeling in that moment and as soon as I came back to social media and I realised just how much there are people out there who are there for me and who really care about me it really it makes me feel really warm inside and it makes me realize that I'm here for a reason and I have a purpose and you know I need to keep going with that purpose I need to fulfill that kind of thing because I really want my voice to be heard with eating disorders and everything I really do want to you know be more open about everything that has happened to me and that is happening as well at the moment too like in treatment and stuff with people and obviously I'm really enjoying doing my recovery coaching as well so everything at the moment is going quite well with that my recovery coaching is going really well I'm going to start opening up again if you don't know I think I've mentioned it though before don't want to bore people with it but I am a recovery coach now for eating disorders and I do support people and make plans and um, help try and help people get back on track with their eating and so far it's going really really well. So I'm going to time lapse to when I'm finished with these nails because they take longer than expected. So yeah. So guys that's my nails done um but yeah i'm so pleased they're done usually i always like f up on one of the nails but i didn't actually f up this time only obviously when i was putting on this one but yeah um so what i'm gonna do next actually before i go and do something next is i keep feeling like i'm gonna feel something wet um i want to show you or introduce you all to someone and this is chonk <laughs> so chonk is very big and chonk is this big sloth that my friend got me and honestly he's so adorable <laughs> i keep putting him in my live streams and everyone's like hi chonk <laughs> so so big but yes that's chonk i wanted to show you <laughs> but yeah let's get on with whatever i'm gonna do next and i don't even know what that's gonna be so i'll let you i'll see you there <laughs> hey guys so for lunch i am having some water and i'm having some oh the water was open no Oh no, I nearly stuck my book. <laughs> so I'm having some water, I'm having some prawn cocktail crisps and some boiled up chicken and I'm also going to have an apple and I have my book here that I'm going to be reading as well. Um, but yeah, I'm also going to be reading this probably on a time lapse I'm probably going to be eating this on a time lapse as well because it's getting quite uh, late on again. So yeah. <laughs> oh, so this is a little um, fact as well. This book is Body Positivity Power by uh, Body Plus Panda, which is like one of my favorite body positivity influencers, I would say. And in this book, it's so good. It's got loads of different things. And then it also has a little page where it has facts. So it says fact, cellulite has only been a flaw for the past 40 years. Not long ago, our harmless side dimples were thought of as a normal variation of female flesh. Then in 1973, Nicole Rosewood, a New York beauty salon owner, was featured in an issue of Vogue describing cellulite as disfiguring attribute. She released a best-selling book called Cellulite, those lumps, bumps, and bulges you couldn't lose before and we were convinced once and for all that another part of our bodies were flawed well she went home with the profits so it's really good and honestly it always whenever i'm feeling like i have a bad body body image day that boot just really helps <laughs>
So guys, here I'm making my gluten-free cupcakes, so I was gonna originally leave the video's audio actually playing, however, this video just turned out to be far too long, this clip anyways, so I decided that I'll just do a voiceover instead. So for this recipe, you will need gluten-free self-raisin flour, eggs, butter, sugar, and icing, and some sprinkles to decorate on top. Everything you need to know will be in the description below of the recipe of how to actually do this. But yes, it's super, super easy and super simple, and you get a total of around seven to eight cupcakes out of this recipe as well and obviously being gluten-free it's a complete bonus but yeah a hundred percent i hope you enjoyed you know watching this little time lapse here and here you go so guys it's been about 15 minutes 20 minutes and they have now cooked and they're looking perfect they're really golden as well which i'm really happy about it made a total of seven and obviously since they're still warm we can't decorate them just yet so they have to cool down so i'm going to give them another 15 minutes to 20 minutes to cool down and then i'm going to decorate them with silver spoon icing and hundreds of thousands these are literally just from aldi and they were really really cheap but they are really nice um but yes if you want any more information about this recipe it'll be in the description below let's get on with the rest of the day So guys, it's officially dinner time, which also means that I'm making my special pizza for dinner today. So Truly Madly Pizza, which is um, right here, have sent me a pizza kit to make my own pizzas. And Truly Madly Pizza, they now send these pizza kits out to places in Newcastle, Sunderland, South Shield, Seaham, and onwards. So if you want to go ahead, you want to check out their website, I'll leave a link to their Facebook and their Instagram if you want to get your own pizza kit as well. They also have vegan and dairy cheese options available as well as meat substitutes are coming in as well for the pepperoni, etc. And honestly, this looks amazing. So we have some dough here garlic sauce some chicken here pepperoni we have some garlic salt here the tomato sauce flour and the cheese and honestly i think that is amazing and you can get all this for 13 pounds as well delivered straight to your door and i have the instruction sheet as well here so i'm going to go ahead and make this so first of all i need to set the oven to 250 degrees which i think i have done yep i have done Lightly dust a pizza tray with flour so it doesn't stick. Roll out the dough on the flour bench until the size of the tray and place it on the tray. Don't start dressing the pizza on the bench as you'll not be able to pick it up. Gently prick it with a fork all over the place. Place it in the middle of the oven and park cook the base. Try to flip over if you can. Remove from the oven and then add the toppings and then bake again. So it's usually like how I do my normal pizza. Um, I'm trying to find my round pizza tray but I can't find that so we might have to risk it with doing something else. Try and find that. <laughs> So guys, I'm just about to go ahead and try first bite of pizza. Um, so it looks amazing. Like it genuinely looks so so good. And I'm honestly shocked and so surprised just to how it turned out. And I'm excited to try it. So let's see. Mm. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> it's a really really good pizza. I'm going to try the garlic dip. 
and that was given as well with the kit so just a reminder that if you'd like one of these kits then you can go ahead and click on the link in the bio and i will definitely link all of their social medias in the description below and you can have a look yourself try there wow that's so good Mm. It literally tastes like Domino's. It's amazing. So guys, I'm just about to head in the shower and what I use when I come out of the shower is I use this butter. So I used it this morning as well. And honestly, it's so amazing once again from Soap and Glory. And for my pajamas, I wear an oversized hoodie and some pants. <laughs> so yeah. So guys, I have just came out of the shower and I put my cream on. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and have my night snack. And then after I have my night snack, I usually go on call with a friend for absolutely hours on end and then i finally go to sleep so after my night snack there's not really much that really happens so i don't know if i'll be recording afterwards because it's literally call sleep and that's it <laughs> but yeah i'll let you guys see my night snack and i might record myself eating it i might not i don't know So guys, that's my night snack done and honestly, it was really delicious. The cupcakes turned out really well and now I'm going to go ahead and brush my teeth and then I'm going to call my friend. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it and remember to please check out the description as well for links to my social media as well as links to Truly Madly Pizza. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching it and like and subscribe for more.